Hey everybody, JY here with another episode of Gamer Dad. Today I'll be doing level 5 in the Babylon campaign. Uh, this level is um, easy to medium, but it's just pretty tedious because there's just a lot of ground to cover. But yeah, first order of business is to get some priests. So there's a temple to the east that you want to liberate. And you don't want to kill those villagers because you're going to be using your priest to convert them later. Uh, whoops. And you can actually outrange these towers here. So yeah, just take them down. It'll take some time so you can read a book or sing a song during this time. But they'll fall down eventually. Then you can pump out some priests, convert a bunch of villagers, and be on your merry way. Yep, and then basically you threads through here, you can rescue some cavalry. Then uh, there's a bunch of towers here, there's some two catapults you can rescue, a bunch of villagers here you can rescue. Um, and then there's a heavily fortified area here that you can assault. Um, there's an alternate route that requires chopping some trees. I'm not sure which one's better. Alright, so here I'm going to get three priests. And then I'm going to get uh, double priest hit points so that they stay alive longer. Alright, so send the priests over here so they can convert the villagers. So the double priest hit points are important because you need to convert some elephant archers. It'll help things go more smoothly if you succeed doing that. Mm. Yeah, it's a very slow start to the level. Take this guy and escape. Alright, so from here you can actually build a town center, which is great. Now you can get your econ going. Meanwhile, I'll just destroy the rest of the Red Army. Alright. Can start building some farms so you can get food. You can also uh, build some houses. Just very slow start. Okay, cool. Build a granary. Alright, 
build some more houses. Okay, so now you can just send these priests down here. Doesn't matter. Well, and you don't want this archer to to walk over here because he might accidentally rescue troops that you're not ready to get yet. Oh, and set red as enemy. And just destroy the rest of their troops. Cool. So yeah, there'll be some cavalry here. You want to pull them back ASAP. You don't want to lose them. Just keep building houses. Ugh, this is exactly what I didn't want to have happen. I wasn't ready to convert this elephant archer yet. Okay, perfect. So now heal up this elephant archer. Want to keep your elephant archer alive. Alright, now you have two elephant archers. Just keep them alive. Ah, shoot. Okay, so still try to keep, um, try to get two elephant archers at least. Perfect. Mm, lame, so only got two elephant archers out of this whole deal. Not the best. Because my stupid cavalry triggered the elephant archers before I was ready. Really hate how they just all the troops are hot headed by default. But it is what it is. So I'll send a villager down here and build a barracks. You'll need it as cannon fodder. And take your elephants and start breaking down the breaking down the enemy towers. can send your cavalry over as well to help speed things along. And once he's low on hit points, just go heal him. Okay, almost destroyed. Next is this one. Alright, we'll hotkey this as four and just spam out a bunch of axemen. Build a marketplace. Okay. So we'll just spam these troops, these axemen, to go up north and destroy these arrow towers because they're not important. The Axemen are expendable, I mean. Yeah, if you're a little more careful, you can actually probably convert three Elephant Archers. But level's still doable, even if you only convert one of them, or zero of them. Just takes longer, because you have infinite food and wood, essentially. So you can just send tons of uh, tons of axemen to do your work. 
it's obviously just not very efficient. Okay, so now that that's taken care of, now we can go further up north. So there's even more towers here, as you can see. So we'll just let the Axemen take care of it. This destroyed. Get closer and closer to our goal. Okay, cool. So there's some stone here, so you can mine it. Although I don't really build towers on this level. Uh, but it might be good to have some offensive towers. I'm not 100% sure. Alright, so we can liberate some catapults and an additional priest over here. And we'll set uh, fire at will to be off. This should stir up the hornet's nest of computer attacks. Okay, I guess not. That's fine. Here comes the enemy computer. Alright, we'll convert this priest. Oh, that's actually causing lag. That's surprising. Hmm. Might be some stuff running in the background of my computer. That was a crazy amount of lag. Just from the priests. Alright, so I think uh, there's one more set of towers up here. Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't look like, uh... Doesn't look like there's any troops defending it, so that's good. So I can just send my catapults over. Make short work of it. And then, yeah, you can rescue some villagers here. Oh, but these are guard towers, so I don't actually outrange them. So that's lame. So I actually do need my priests. Alright, now I'll come back here. And start mining gold over here. Then I'm not sure is my villager chop I should have had two villagers here. Don't know why all of a sudden there's only one. Oh, he was chopping wood. 
Alright, so I'm going to build a government center and then build a second uh, town center so I can pump out a couple more villagers closer to the action. In the meantime, I'm going to take out these towers. So I don't outrange the towers, but I can just heal them with my priests. Heal the catapults with my priests, that is. Okay, cool. So build two villagers. Okay, I'll build a marketplace as well. I already built the marketplace. Okay, that's cool. So I'll get wood chopping in the wheel. And the plow so I don't have to rebuild as much. Then I'll build the siege workshop. Then get heavy catapults. Uh, also free up some supply here. In the meantime, I'll upgrade some towers. Alright, while this is happening, I'll go target this other tower. Hopefully not aggro any enemy troops. That wasn't ideal, but that's okay. Alright, also build the temple. Now I'll hit up the Iron Age. Yikes. That's what happens for not paying attention for one second. That's okay, first I'll target down these catapults as revenge. Now I'll target down that catapult as revenge. Heal my elephant archers, and then I'll just keep going. Okay, and this is good. The enemy computer will just waste time attacking these towers, burning resources. They're healing pretty slowly though, so I'll get some upgrades. More effective healing than monotheism in afterlife. Yeah, it's just a pretty slow level, like I said. Right, I'm gonna try to destroy the enemy catapult. Oh, I don't even see the enemy catapult now. Okay. We'll just target the enemy archers then. Really bad micro on my part. Ooh, almost lost an elephant too. Alright, 
while that's going on, I'll upgrade to Guard Tower and try to draw more, even more enemy fire. Okay, at least that part went well. And then my government center is over here. Get alchemy. And range. And get... Okay, I was gonna get another catapult. That's fine. Let's focus on destroying this tower now. Okay, perfect. I think there's an enemy elephant still alive in there somewhere. Oh, I see the elephants over here. All right, time to break down the walls. Okay, monotheism. Oh, I'll use my marketplace. Get coinage and additional range. Alright, now I'm just going to break in. Turn off, fire at will. I can't believe this archery range isn't dead yet. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's just convert the enemy building. It's much easier. Build a couple more priests. Monotheism and afterlife. Monotheism almost done. Yeah, this is not my fastest playthrough. Alright, this guy will convert the barracks, this guy will convert the siege workshop. Oh, there's even a temple down there. See if there's any priests still alive. Okay, I'll take care of that tower. Go ahead and convert this temple to, and then I can get rid of these axemen. They're not really needed anymore. I can chop my way through here. Convert this. I 
go ahead and send a villager over. Steal the shipyard. Okay, there's actually some gold over here as well, so that's nice. Get some additional upgrades. Okay, yellow's been defeated. So now I just need to spam out a bunch of ships. To get my villagers up over here. And then spam ships. Okay, I can free up some more Axemen. Probably build uh, another catapult. Alright, and then uh, Brown has a small navy of some triremes, so I'll try to convert them by luring them back over here. There we go. And I also want to get a heavy transport. Okay, it doesn't look like they took the bait. Okay, I can free up one villager. Alright, they didn't take the bait. I'm gonna have to go all the way over there. With uh, this transport, I'm going to move my villagers in there, the two heavy catapults, some elephants, and some priests. Okay, so I think those were all the enemy ships. Alright, great. So I'm going to take my transport and land it over here and build some additional shipyards over here so I don't have to travel as far. Just make sure there's no other enemy ships here. Yep, okay, cool. So I'm just going to build uh, some shipyards over here. Another shipyard over here. Alright, and now that I have all these uh, ships, I'm going to s slowly attrition the brown computer. They have a ton of units and a ton of catapults and ballistas, so it's just going to take a long time. It's okay, I can just keep rebuilding ships because I have a ton of resources. Okay, yeah, ton of catapults over here. I just need to lure them out and then destroy them. Okay, good. Okay. 
Great. Destroy him. Destroy all of these. And that's going to be the most stiff resistance. Destroy the ballistas, which have pretty high DPS. Doesn't look like my rally points were set correctly. It's okay. Okay, finally. Yikes, that is still a lot of troops. Looks like I'm running low on wood too. Put another storage pit over here. Okay. But I'm finally making it in. And now I'll have my catapults be able to support me. Just want to destroy all the ranged units. Okay, this is good. Can't even convert some of these guys. Great. All right. Now I can land my catapults. Slow and steady micro. Not much commentary that I can do here. Okay, finally. Heal the catapult. Convert the priest. Shoot. Okay, awesome. Got a villager. Can actually build some units now. Clear out these houses. Alright, and then just slowly clear out all of this. It's gonna take a while. Fortunately, the computer will not surrender. Okay, good. All 
Okay, I reached my population limit, so I can actually free some of free up some of the supply. Don't need that much. Okay, but all I really need to do is just capture an artifact, so I'm just gonna send my elephants up there. Because I don't think there's gonna be any resistance left. Oh, whoops. Okay, never mind. Captured the artifact. You have sacked Susa and Yeah, so that's it. It's just one of those slow um, micro missions, but you eventually get gold. And you just have to break down the enemy computer since you have unlimited resources and they don't you'll eventually win but it just takes a long time so the challenge is just seeing how fast it takes to beat the level and that's it that's another episode of gamer dad hope you found that helpful please be sure to like and subscribe so i can get a million subscribers and retire on a tropical island someday thanks for watching